Um, how many people are on Twitter? If you're on Twitter, um, right now would be a great time to actually share your Twitter name. We're doing it at the be we're doing the Twitter names at the beginner at the beginning this time because ELT chat um, it, it takes place on Twitter and it happens every Wednesday and uh, we actually have two times that we do this uh, they're London time right now and um, I believe Andy am I correct in saying that it's um, at uh, 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. 3 p.m. London, London time and 9 p.m. London time. Okay, and we use the hashtag ELT chat, and I'll put that inside the um, chat box. Um, and, and every day, um, it stands for English Language Teacher Chat, and you have moderators, you can participate, we talk about different topics, and um, you can vote on the topics, and it's quite a lively discussion. Right now we have over a hundred that participate and it's quite new. So so we're really excited to get you involved today. And what we want to do is we're going to ask the panelists some questions about some of the things that have happened and then we want to screen share the website. And then at the time we also want you to um, to to add to the discussion and tell us how we can improve this what you would like to see on an online discussion. Now, if you're not on Twitter, that's okay. You can still participate. We have podcasts, as you can see, um, archives and polls. You can actually read the transcript. You can respond to the podcast. Um, you can write blog posts on the website. So there's plenty of ways that you can participate, even if you're not on Twitter. Um, this happens every Wednesday, and I should have put that in the. And it happens at 4 p.m. London time. We always go on London time, and 9 p.m. London time. 3 p.m. London time. So, I mean 3 p 3 p.m. Sorry, it's very early. <laughs> so. 3 p.m. London time and 9 p.m. London time. So let me introduce your esteemed panelists today. These are uh, four of our five moderators. We actually have one more moderator. And his time, um, I'm, I'm not sure if this really matches his time, but um, he, we're missing Jason Renshaw, which is Ask English Raven. So he helps us moderate as well. Um, and, and by moderate, we also mean organizers, because all uh, five of us work together to organize this. We have, um, on the right of me, um, we have the lovely Marissa C, or Marissa Constantinidis. And she's from Greece. Um, and she owns her own um, school, the South Athens School. And she uh, trains tutors and uh, deltas and celtas worldwide. Um, Andy Chaplin. Andy um, works for Good at English. Is that correct, Andy? Correct. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and he also does some uh, Moodle training as well. He does Web 2.0 training. He, he's actually our tech whiz. And Andy's the one who actually set up the site. Um, he does the podcast, and if you haven't heard the podcast, they're phenomenal. And he's just a tech genius, is what I tell him. Um, he also teaches English, and he teaches trade. Um, he teaches sometimes at trade shows as well. And then we have, um, and his Twitter handle is at Olaf Elf. Um, and he's located in Germany, like me. <laughs> um, and then we have Bernie Wall, and she's located in the UK. Um, and Bernie is with the uh, RLI Gap Fillers. Uh, Gap Fillers was uh, an award. Um, it was nominated for an Elton Award. So we have a really good crew with us. Um, if each one of you would just like to, I'm going to give you the mic now, and if you could just say a little about um, ELT chat and what it means to you. And I'm going to switch the layouts while we do this. So maybe Marissa, do you want to start? 
Oh yes, thank you very much for the introduction, Shelley, and good morning, everyone. Good morning to my co-moderators. Sorry, um, it's, it's such an ungodly hour for Jason because he's also a fantastic moderator. Um, perhaps uh, to those of you who are new to Twitter and to uh, ELT chat, uh, it might. Uh, uh, help to remind that ELT chat was uh, uh, stimulated uh, by the hashtag discussions that started uh, uh, last year with Ed Chat, if you remember them, and Shelley and Tom Whitby and Bernie uh, were in uh, those uh, Ed Chats from the beginning, and they were um, possibly the uh, stimulation, the inspiration for us connecting together through. ELT uh, chats. Um, I've participated in those ed chats and find them uh, very stimulating as well. But uh, some of us felt that we needed uh, more of a dedicated um, chat line of our own where we could talk about um, things more specific to ELT. Um, uh, ELT teachers can learn a lot from educators in all other disciplines, but just like math teachers have some specific things they would like to talk about, um, ELT teachers have certain issues they want to talk about which may not be covered by a general list. So uh, we have been talking about this with uh, Shelley and with Jason for a very long time. Andy actually kind of forced our hand <laughs> and set up the, <laughs> the ELT chat and I think it was a great thing that he did because um, we might have kind of talked about it for quite a long time yet but there he was with his emails this is the website let's get the show on the road and this was fantastic and I want to thank Andy for that, for being a quiet elk behind the scenes, <laughs> our tech elk behind behind the scenes. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee in me. My metaphors are not all working all that well. So I'll pass you pass you over to Andy. Hi. Um. Yeah. Uh, to follow up from what Marisa said, uh, I, I am that sort of guy that just says let's get on with it and see what happens. Um, I think that comes from my experience of uh, trying to initiate change in um, the state school system, um, which often functions by talking and talking and talking, and then it's too late to change anything because we've got new ideas. And so uh, I decided just to let's get on with it and see what happens. And uh, up to now, I think it's been a tremendous success. I have to say it surprised me, um, the number of people that were uh, got involved straight away. Um, we've got a good number of people taking part in the polls to decide what the discussion should be about. And um, if you check on the uh, what the hashtag site, um, you'll see now that there's over 200 um, ELT professionals taking part every week in the Twitter discussions and I think that's really great and it's a great starting place uh, to share knowledge and experience. Um, obviously it's very much, th those who follow it will see that it's very much modelled on the um, the EdChat um, system uh, which functions extremely well and um, but with a few extra points, um, particularly the the podcast which I think is quite a useful thing um, in particular we have the, the situation that uh, ELT teachers are often very much the sort of the lone ranger um, they're uh, teaching on their own or they're teaching in schools in a foreign country maybe they don't have this large connection um, this large sort of uh, base of friends and colleagues uh, to share experiences with and for that reason, uh, the idea of having a, a form of loose social network 
where they can meet and exchange ideas um, I think is particularly valuable for the English language teachers out there. Um, I think at that point we'll hand over to Bernie. Hi Bernie. <laughs> Hi Andy. Okay, I don't know that I can add much, maybe just a few practical things for any of you that haven't seen this or been involved in it. Um, so basically, uh, some questions are posted on the website and I put the link to the website up there earlier and you can go along and vote um, for your favourite topic. Um, and then th those are the topics. The top two are chosen for the three o'clock and the nine o'clock chat. Um, and the site has lots of other useful information. You have to be on Twitter, but that's not too terrible. Um, and then you come along to Twitter and you join in the conversation using chat and you put um, hashtag at the end of your tweets. Um, but I mean, you can come along and just observe um, at first until you get the hang of it. When does the uh, when are the questions posted, Andy? Uh, the poll is always posted on the Sunday. Um, I try and do that around three o'clock or so, uh, Sunday afternoon. And yeah, the, it closes then at uh, two o'clock London time on the Wednesday. So we have uh, oh hi Jason. Uh, we have uh, then um, a Hello, an hour to. Uh, get involved and to set up the discussion itself. Yeah, Hi. thank you. So um, there's plenty of time to look at the questions, vote, um, and then um, come along. And there are lots of reminders throughout the day about the start time. And I think then afterwards there, uh, there is a podcast where people who have taken part are interviewed and there's an archive of the whole chat and um, a summary. I think that's pretty much the practical aspects of it. Um, so I'll hand over now to Jason, who's just been able to join us. Okay. Let thanks. me go ahead and quickly introduce Jason. We're so excited to have Jason here. Jason is at English uh, Raven, like we were saying before. And Jason is a materials writer. Um, he's actually developed his own um, his, his own co course materials, but he's also written several books. Um, he runs a fantastic website, and recently he has uh, written the Unplugged book that you can download for free on his website. So, <laughs> uh, Jason, it's so great to have you here from Australia. Would you like to tell us a little about? Um... Okay. Yeah, I'll just um test yes. test my mic. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you actually yeah, hear me there? Yep. Yeah, nice and clear. Right. So you've you've thanks for the introduction, Shelley. Um, um, so you've passed off to me, and I've I've come in here a bit raw, but um, uh, I'm not sure what I'm adding to what's already been said. But um, it's an amazing thing I think we've we've got going here with ELT chat.